Will Hyperloop be tiny or huge by 2030? Meet Elon Musk, founder of the Hyperloop project. He is on a mission to produce trains that go faster than planes, which sounds pretty amazing if it can be done. And meet Diana, who commutes three hours regularly between LA and San Francisco. I'm Simon Darling, welcome to Life in 2030. At the end of this video, I make a prediction about how huge Hyperloop will be by 2030 on a scale of 1 to 10. To answer this, we look at the technology, the companies, what's to love about it, and jobs. First, we look at technology. The high-speed maglev technology that Elon needs for Hyperloop by 2030 is already solved. Elon uses sealed tubes in which pressurized vehicles called pods travel super fast. The pods move at high speeds because they use a magnetic levitation technology system, also known as maglev, made up of sets of magnets. This technology both elevates the pod and thrusts it forwards, removing friction, and so enables the pods to move at high speed. Maglev technology is tried and tested on trains in China and Japan, with speeds up to 310 miles per hour. The high-speed vacuum technology also needed is solved by 2030. Elon's vision of building sealed, airless tubes has been brought to life by Virgin Hyperloop One and some other companies. They put air pumps beneath the elevated tubes, suck out 99% of the air from the tube making a vacuum. The result is the reduction of air drag in the tubes, doubling the maglev only speed to faster than 670 miles per hour, 100 miles an hour faster than a commercial plane. The technology needed for Hyperloop pods is solved. Passengers travel in these pods, they glide at airline speeds for long distances due to their ultra-low aerodynamic drag in the vacuum tube. Inside the pod, travellers sit side by side, surrounded by virtual windows. These high-definition windows offer a simulated 360-degree view of the surrounding landscape. In addition to the virtual wall, travellers have screens displaying information about energy saving, the current pod speed and entertainment. If Hyperloop's success only was dependent on the technology changes being solved, it would be at the huge end of the scale by 2030. Now we look at companies. Hyperloop will be huge if there are unicorns, startup companies that have a valuation of more than a billion dollars. And when there's plenty of big multinational companies that are active, represented by an elephant here. Virgin Hyperloop One is on its way to being a unicorn, valued at $700 million in 2019. Richard Branson's Virgin Group has invested. In November 2020, the company did its first successful Hyperloop testing with passengers on board. This is the only fully developed test track in the world. It is in Missouri but only 500 metres long. The company is working on various project proposals, including one from Riyadh to Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. Transpod may one day be a unicorn. Sebastian Gendron is the CEO and founder of this Canadian-French company. In 2017, the governments of Toronto, Ontario and Canada announced a joint funding plan of $1.2 billion to aid Hyperloop projects, of which Transpod is a beneficiary. Zelleros is another Hyperloop startup. It was co-founded by its current CEO, David Pistoni. It has built Europe's first Hyperloop prototype in Spain. A few big companies are active, including SpaceX, Hitachi, and Acom. Elon Musk and SpaceX ingeniously open-sourced the Hyperloop idea. From 2015 to 2019, they ran an annual Hyperloop pod competition which got it all off the ground. Hitachi is making partnerships between its rail division and Hyperloop companies. Acom, the multinational engineering firm, is building the infrastructure. Elon Musk asked them to design and build the world's first Hyperloop test track in Texas. This look at companies points to Hyperloop being at the low end of the scale by 2030 because there aren't many unicorns today and the multinational company activity is relatively small. If you're enjoying this, hit the subscribe button for more predictions about life in 2030. I've got my luggage ready because for Hyperloop to be huge it has to offer something travellers like me will absolutely love. Travellers will give it five stars for super fast travel. Elon calls Hyperloop the fifth mode of transport complementing planes, trains, cars and boats. For Diana it will take 35 minutes from LA to San Francisco, 30 minutes from Paris to Berlin and 25 minutes from Mumbai to Pune. Hyperloop scores three stars for sustainability. Today, Diana's commute contributes to air travel's 2% of total greenhouse gas emissions. By using renewable energy sources like wind and solar, there will be no emissions with Hyperloop. However, 
The construction process of Hyperloop is not environmentally friendly. Huge amounts of concrete and steel, cutting down trees and digging tunnels, hence lowering the score to three stars. Hyperloop gets a one star for construction feasibility. This may sound a bit harsh giving it one star, but it's going to take a massive effort to construct the huge vacuum pipes taking years to get planning permission and incur high construction costs. Some unpopulated areas that are relatively flat will be good to travel through and may appear by 2030, perhaps in Saudi Arabia for example, but it won't be in many other areas. From a love point of view, this points to Hyperloop being at the small end of the scale by 2030. Now we look at jobs. If Hyperloop is huge, then there's going to be lots of jobs hired and fired. Ground crew at airports will be fired if Hyperloop ever takes over a busy commuter route. On the hired side, the Virgin Hyperloop team has 53 vacancies listed on LinkedIn at the time of recording, including for technicians, electrical engineers, cybersecurity, and graphic design. It's well worth looking at LinkedIn if you're interested in getting a job in the Hyperloop sector. Helping you make good career decisions is a big reason why I'm doing this Life in 2030 channel. Jobs in fast-growing new sectors like Hyperloop are exciting and often more secure than in stagnant sectors. I was fortunate to join the e-commerce sector with eBay in its early days and have benefited ever since. Jobs in the Hyperloop industry are all around the world. Virgin Hyperloop One is headquartered in Los Angeles, Transpod in Canada and France, Zelleros in Spain, with projects proposed for India and Saudi Arabia. You could set up some job alerts for these companies, it's easy to do on LinkedIn, and click to have a look at my Finding Great Jobs for Life in 2030 video. Because there's not that many jobs being hired and fired, from a jobs point of view, Hyperloop is at the lower end of the prediction scale. Now we've covered all four sections, it's time for me to make a prediction. Although the technology needed is solved, there are few unicorns, there's a big challenge with construction feasibility, and there's not that many jobs being hired. This means that on a scale of 1 to 10, Hyperloop is at the tiny end of the scale at a 2 by 2030. For updates on this prediction and information on new ones, sign up for my Life in 2030 newsletter. Click the bell to get notified when the next prediction video is out and go and have a look at our prediction on crypto fashion in 2030 and on living to 200 years old. I'll see you in the next video.